So, um, kindly, Ruben Diffie of Property Formula Surveyors um, has agreed to just explain what it is that is um, required when you need a survey when you've bought property, because so many people aren't aware. So, thanks for doing that, Ruben. Pleasure. Um, so, would you be able to just explain to potential clients what levels of surveys are available? Sure. Yeah, we'll talk. So there's, there's, there's three levels of survey, yeah. um, and they're all suited to different types of property. Uh, we have an entry level survey called a, a condition report, um, which is pretty well suited to most modern properties, just to give clients a good steer as to the overall condition of the property and any short term maintenance liabilities that would, that would exist. Um, the second and probably most common type of survey for a lot of people is what's called a home buyer survey report. And that's a, a good overview of a property um, it's probably well suited to something which is post-war or inter-war, um, something which has been extended and altered, where there's going to be a few nuances and queries with regards to building rates. Different than the standards sort of house. Indeed, yeah. Um, and it's, you know, I always tend to regard it as a sort of top-to-toe survey, mm -hmm. so chimneys, ceilings, walls, uh, floors and so on. Um, would you lift drains up on that type of survey? We would do. We yeah. would lift, lift drains, inspect drains. Uh, wiring, plumbing, heating, um, but it's important to note that we're not specialists in, in those fields. No. Um, and so if we suspect there's a need for a, an independent inspection from a specialist, we'll make that recommendation. Uh, and then the top level of survey, which is appropriate for where we are here today, mm. for example, um, period properties, uh, extended houses, listed houses, uh, is the level three survey or the building survey. Sometimes. So that's commonly called a building survey, right? Yeah. But it's uh, from the RICS perspective, it's a level three. That's it, yeah. So that's one and the same. So, so yeah, yeah. They, they can be referred to as building surveys, structural surveys, or the level three report. Okay. So, um, and the home buyer survey being the level two, condition report being the level one. So, yes. um, yeah, tend to be referred to differently by different parties. Yes. Um, but um, uh, but that, that, that's not a problem. But uh, um, so again, it's a, it, another top to toe. Uh, but you get the the detail as to the nature of construction of each component of the property, the condition of each component, and a condition rating or a score, uh, together with recommendations for remedial repairs where necessary, uh, maintenance recommendations, and so on. So that's a, like a, I think I'm right in saying like a traffic light system, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there are. Yeah, the, 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 the for, for clients reports. that are buying a house, indeed, just to give them a guidance because obviously it's not something we do all the time buying houses. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but if they get your report, just give them an idea of this traffic light system and what you're you're proposing with that. Sure. So I think the thing to I, I try and remember uh, on the surveys is that. Um, uh, the client's found the right house yes. for their needs um, to suit them for, for family circumstances and so on and so forth. So I feel it's very much a process of, of, of nurturing, um, but, but by the same token, identifying areas where there might be shortcomings, uh, but also uh, drawing to, to the client's attention areas where good maintenance has been maintained mm. and, and things don't need urgent attention. Um, but the traffic light system is, is, is one where uh, a red symbol indicates that there's uh, a need for some fairly urgent repairs or further investigations, usually before exchanging contracts. Um, an, an amber repair would be something which uh, needs attention but isn't going to materially affect value or the transaction. So amber is not going to affect the value necessarily, but no. it's sort of bringing it to their attention. Indeed, yeah, yeah. something needs a repair. Yeah. It, it could be a replacement of a window, for example, um, or something that doesn't quite comply with regulations right, right now. Uh, but something which ought to be dealt with, uh, but by the same token, as you say, it doesn't affect value. And the red um, is more needing attention now. Indeed, yeah, it's something that, that should be um, scrutinised further before exchange of contracts, just to make sure that the client is fully versed and aware as to what, what they're dealing with. And could affect value in terms of those issues that are red may have significant cost implications. Indeed, yeah, and yeah. it could be anything from you know, a chimney repair, uh, to a query over a right of access, for example, or yeah. right of way, um, a drainage connection that may or may not be mains versus a septic tank, for example. But always what you'll do is recommend to the professional uh, contractor relating to those specifics. So if it's Indeed. a timber treatment company or a drainage survey mm -hmm. or an ele 
electrical survey or yeah. gas or something like that, yeah. you always defer that to the experts. Yeah, of course. Yeah, the, 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 you know, I mean, we work with a range of experts across the county mm -hmm. um, and, and recommend their services for their reliability and their customer service yeah. um, and, and accountability. So, um, you know, it's, it's important to have those relationships, but it's also important to recognise uh, w where those third party specialists need to be involved in the transaction. Exactly. And that's why we often recommend Ruben's company to help us out with surveys, because that nurturing is really important. People are buying a house because they really like it and they've offered on it. So it's not a case of um, trying to put them off it, but it's a case of giving them a, a very balanced overview of what they can expect if they buy that house. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I always so, ask myself, actually, yeah. uh, would I buy this house? Yes. Uh, and and um, I think I would buy an awful lot of the houses that I see across Oxfordshire. But, yeah. um, uh, but I think it's, 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 it's a sort of litmus test, really, of the suitability of the property yeah. uh, and my recommendations to my client. Yeah. Well, thanks very much for that. Pleasure. And um, I hope that helps. And I think it gives you a better overview from a surveyor um, who, who obviously does a lot of work within Oxfordshire. So what we'll do is after the video, we'll post uh, Ruben's contact details as well. And if you're interested in getting his advice, then please give him a call. Thanks very much.